Hi guys, this is Tim over at Osmond Music. Today is Thursday, June 25th. Today we have back in stock the Osmond flight case. This is the traditional flight case for cut bell French horn in black. And also we have the suitcase style flight case for French horn in stock. These are both for cut bell French horns and these are designed to take your French horn in the plane with you in the cabin. Uh, these are not meant to be uh, checked as baggage. They are protective, but they are not protective uh, against violent drops uh, that you'll get out of baggage claim. Um, both of these cases are in the eight to nine pound range, so they're very lightweight. They are a hard shell case with a Cordura fabric uh, coating. They both come with backpack straps and plenty of padding and pouches and mouthpiece pouches on the inside uh, for your instruments. Um, we've had some instances in the past where people have ordered them and called us up and say, how do you put your horn in this? So we're going to go over a couple of useful tips today and hopefully show you. Uh, we're very limited with the web camera but I should be able to show you how I approach getting a, getting a horn in here. Um, we're going to use the, the uh, suitcase style flight case. And the first thing we want to do is we want to take everything out of it. You're getting a lot of, you get a lot of pads such as these that are fixed with Velcro and they're all in, inside here. They're meant to be taken out and moved around. So you want to take everything out. You want to take out all the straps and pads and pouches. Um, you want to take everything out because we're starting from scratch. We're basically making a new case for your particular instrument. Um, so today I'm going to use a Con 8D. Okay. And we're going to put this without any pads or anything. We've, we've taken everything out. Put this and there's a strap on there, so we strapped it down to the bottom of the case with the bell up against the bottom of the case. Okay. So then we're going to take all the pads that we've taken out that are fixed with Velcro. Okay. We're going to put those inside around the horn to keep it from moving around. Okay. So what I've done here as I put one up where my thumb is here and then one up where my elbow is with on the bottom of the bell. So now the case, the horn won't wiggle around. Then we're going to take the bell cozy, if you will. Take your bell, put it in a pouch or cozy and we're going to set it on top, but we're going to offset it a little bit. Okay, we're going to offset it a little bit from the horn, so that when you bring when you bring the case down, you're kind of locking the the bell on top of the horn. Okay, so then you can take your additional padding if you've got any more, and you can put them on the top of the case so that when the case comes down you're locking the bell more securely on the horn and nothing is going to move around. Um, you can also then take your mouthpiece pouches and put those in. Again, they have Velcro on the back. You can stick them pretty much anywhere on the horn. There's a place up here. Again, more pouches. You don't need to use all the pouches but they're there. Um, you've also got some other pouches here for mouthpieces and lubricants. You also get a shoulder strap uh, and backpack straps. So again, the concept is when you put the bell in, it's going to be a little bit offset. And then when you close the case and zipper it, everything locks into place and nothing moves around. So there you go. And then on the back, 
you have your backpack straps. So then you can put your backpack straps on there and put it on your back. So these are in stock. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can email us or call us. And we'll be happy to uh, answer any of your questions. Thanks and 